Hello everybody and welcome back to the Crypto Potluck. In this video we're really going to be jumping into signals um, as there are a lot of things that worry me about them and as always uh, I'm going against the grain as it looks like most uh, people in this industry that are teaching or showing people uh, how to automation trade, um, they're pushing signals and there are a lot of concerns I have with them and I represent you as I've stated in the past. Um, and I'm looking to protect you. So we'll dive into my issues with signal groups. Um, but before we do that, uh, we're also going to be jumping into Crypto Hopper and we're going to be talking about triggers as there are a lot of people that are still struggling uh, with automation trading. And they, the one thing that really isn't addressed that well on Crypto Hopper is signals. And I really don't feel like most people are using them to their full abilities. So with that said, let's just first jump into signals and I'll give my opinion on them. Gentlemen, welcome to Stratton Oakmont. What we're gonna do is this. First we pitch them Disney, AT&T, IBM, blue chip stocks exclusively. Companies these people know. Once we've suckered them in, we unload the dog shit, the pink sheets, the penny stocks, where we make the money. What this trade will do is serve as a benchmark for future business, Kevin. Do you feel comfortable with me now, Scott? And then you'll know for sure that you finally found a broker on Wall Street that you can trust and who can consistently make you money. Sound fair enough? No, yeah, you're, I guess I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> what do you, I don't know, what do you, what do you think? Kevin? You give me one shot here, and believe me, Kevin, the only problem <laughs> you're gonna have is that you didn't buy more. Sound fair enough? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Excellent choice, Kevin. How much you wanna go for this time? With me being a YouTuber, I have been invited into a lot of signal groups and I've looked into the inner workings of them and I want to specifically warn you of relying on signal groups. Basically, a signal group is you are paying for the ability for somebody to determine when it is a good buy or sell position for you. Now, this is kind of like a broker in some ways, um, though it is honestly looking more and more like pump and dump groups because I am seeing these people that are running these signal groups. I'm not going to say all of them, but there is a large amount of the people that are running signal groups. And the way that they work is, is that the person who is in charge, the YouTube personality, the person that is pushing everybody to go join the signal, um, they are the kingpin, you know, and basically they can jump onto the chart, they can pick any coin that they want, and then they can say, yo, this is a good opportunity to buy for whatever reason they want to determine. But the way that it works is, is that that kingpin gets the luxury of putting down their money first. Then it works in a line. It's kind of like a pyramid scheme where the next people that get to put down their money are the promoters, the people that are driving more people to subscribe to the signal group. Um, then you have uh, the people that are subscribers, the paid subscribers. Then after all of those people have bought in, then the paid subscribers get the signal next. Then in the last place is, is the free signals. So the free signals, you're getting the scraps and you're pushing the, the paid signals a little bit more, but this is still worrisome because the last two tiers, which are the paid signals um, and the free signals, y'all are the ones who end up getting screwed because you get these signals um, and you're basically pushing the price of the people that are above you and they're selling out while you're buying in. And the last people to buy in, you're the ones that are getting screwed. So with that said, I highly suggest don't use signals and if you are still inclined and you still want to experience or experiment with signals, don't solely rely on them. Be very, very cautious on who you decide to go with and start off extremely, extremely small. 
do not go full in on signals. I feel like your better option is creating your own unique strategy. Determine your own positions to buy and sell. Don't rely on anybody else to determine when you should be buying and when you should be selling. You should be developing the tools needed so that you can see these opportunities yourself. And I understand that time is an issue. Um, but the thing is, is if you can invest you know, the initial point so that you can build up the infrastructure needed to create a system that you can continue to automate. And it's not that hard, requires 30 minutes, an hour of work a week. It's a no brainer, especially if it's able to protect your portfolio and increase your Bitcoin or Ethereum um, portfolio size. So with that said, that is my final opinion on signal groups. Um, that's the reason why I haven't been promoting them. And that's the reason why I don't, you know, go gun hole on them and why I've been addressed a lot. But I just haven't followed through on it because I don't believe in them. I really don't. I think that you're going to be a lot better off learning yourself. Um, so let's move on to triggers. So I know this looks bad, negative 6%, but um, my trade history is actually phenomenal. I uh, don't want to give you guys the bad idea. As you can see, it's all 2%, all 2%. Really, really good. Um, but let me jump back over to here. What I want to show you guys is triggers, okay? So if you jump into configuration, triggers is one of the things that I feel like most people aren't uh, using to its full extent, especially Crypto Hopper. Now, there are a lot of people that have followed me and subscribed to this YouTube channel after moving away from Profit Trailer. Now, Profit Trailer has a add-on called Feeder. Now, Feeder basically works the same as triggers, um, except I genuinely believe that Crypto Hopper's triggers are a lot better, a lot easier to use, a lot easier to set up, and I feel like you can get a lot more out of it. Um, but let me first explain how Crypto Hopper works, okay? You can think of it as like an onion, all right? You have the first layer. The first layer is the base configuration. This is where you set up a base strategy for the few coins that you want to trade. Um, the one thing that I suggest is you don't need to trade every coin under the sun. The fewer the coins that are solid coins that you believe in in the long term, those are the coins you want to be trading, okay? Do not just subscribe to any coin. There are a lot of shit coins out there and one day it will, the shit coins will collapse and you don't want to be caught with, you know, the 95% of coins that are going to fail. Whenever that happens, you want to have the 5% of coins that have more than just price action. They have infrastructure. They have, you know, a lot more that requires a little bit of research, but it's not that hard to do. So um, I jump in um, and I pick the few coins that I want to trade on the uh, on the day or on the week or every few days. Um, and I update this occasionally. Um, right now, my favorite strategy is multiple TA factors. Um, I base it off of the Bollinger Band and the Staunch RSI, and it has been working very, very well for me. Um, so anyway, this is the first layer of the onion, okay? This is basically setting up a strategy for all of the coins that you selected to be trading on. Now, if you want to go into the second layer, okay, this is config pools. Let's just say that there's specific coins and it doesn't match your base configuration, okay? And you want a little bit more in depth on are more in depth say on the buy and sell action okay this is where you jump into config pool and i must add that the crypto hopper team they listen they listen they listen they listen because after complaining to them that why isn't there a different way to change the candle size bam they implemented it so now that you have candle sizes now you can change the candle sizes uh from multiple technical analysis settings uh, which is really really awesome so i just wanted to point that out so um, basically, as you can see here, I have a different coins, NEO, ETC, ELF, which I'm currently trading, and I have a large balance on all of them. And with that said, um, you know, I have an individual setting for each. You know, I feel like if I'm going to be investing a lot in a coin, um, it deserves its own unique setting. Um, if it is a small investment, um, then you know what? It doesn't require as much work. But uh, if, if you have a larger investment, spend the extra 10 minutes to set up a config uh, strategy specifically for the pair that you're trading. Okay. Now, we're going to go into the last layer of the onion, which is going to be triggers. Triggers are used as a way to as an extra protection or an extra way to determine when it is a good time to buy and sell. One of the big 
things that people love about um, profit trailer feeder is the fact that you can basically determine if Bitcoin drops X amount, you get out of the market. If Bitcoin goes up X amount, you enter in, you know, your bull trading strategy, you know, and you can set up these different strategies. You can do the same thing with triggers and you have a lot more options. So one of the first things I do is basically determine when it is a good time to be in the market and when it is a good time to be out of the market. The best way to do this is looking at uh, the Bitcoin value or Ethereum value and basing a strategy off of the long term. Okay, so I'm just going to jump into BTC as BTC determines everything in my opinion. Um, ETC also determines a lot and they're very close as price action is concerned. Um, but the thing that I want to point out is, um, as you can see, what I have going here is I got um, a smooth moving average, which is going to be this white line, and then have another smooth moving average, which is going to be this purple line, okay? So what I am setting up here is as soon as the 14 day, which is going to be the white line, crosses the one day moving average, um, then it signals a good time to enter in the altcoin market. So that's what I'm running with right now. So basically I kind of outlined it right here where you can see the circle. As soon as we hit the circle, I want to be in the altcoin market. I want to be playing with there. Um, that that's my strategy. Okay. Then I'm playing. I'm playing in the altcoin market. The altcoin market is doing good. And then we have a fall. And then we get right here. So let me just jump back into here. Um, this is where I jump into. Um, the cross for the sell. And basically I have rules in place to position me into the USD market. So basically what I'm trying to do is as soon as we hit the cross on the lower end, it is a good time to enter in USD. All right. So that will signal a good point to enter in USD. And I'm able to save myself, you know, a large fall. I buy back in at the bottom based off of Bollinger Bands or whatever other strategy you're able to come up with. And then I ride it all the way up to the top and repeat, repeat, repeat. So there are many different ways that you can go about it. I'm just going to jump into configuration and we can kind of just start talking about it. Okay. So let's go for the initial buy, right? Um, whenever we do the official buy, what do I have here? So uh, select an exchange, Binance. Another really cool thing is, is that if you are running, for example, Qcoin, which doesn't have as much volume as Binance, you can base these triggers off of Binance um, and you can signal yourself before everybody else on these smaller exchanges. So this is really, really powerful um, protection, especially if you're trading in smaller exchanges. Um, but with that said, the first thing I'm looking at is BTC USD. The candle size is the one hour. Um, and then as you can see here, I have SMA. Um, so signals a buy uh, when the one day um, crosses the 14 day. That is whenever I want to signal the buy and enter in the market. Okay. Um, then we have actions. Um, actions is what, what are the actions that need to be taken as soon as this happens. Okay. Um, so for me, set buying status enable. That's it. So it's a really simple, easy protection. Um, just signals, hey, turn on buying. It's a good time to start buying. Um, then if we go into the cross on the lower one, okay? What do we have here? Percentage change. Um, I have, it has to be less than 0 0.7. Um, SMA, um, the SMA signals a sell once it crosses this and this, and it has to be lower than this. So um, then the action is set buying status disabled. I do not want to be buying anymore. I want selling enabled so I can get out of my bags. Um, and then set selling status enabled. And then send e email, move your ass into USDT. Okay, so that's, that's what I want to be sent so that I know, hey, get on your computer, fix something right now, position yourself so that you're prepared for what's about to happen, okay? Um, so then you can also do it specifically for each coin. So for example, uh, let's just jump into one of the coins I've been rooting for for a while and the charts have really been looking good as far as I'm concerned. Will it hold up? Only time will tell. So let's, let's look at whenever I've been calling this out a lot. And if you guys haven't been subscribed to my discord channel, jump into discord. It's a free resource that you could jump into. I call out a lot of the trades I make and a lot of the positions I'm taking, um, as I try to position myself in the market. Um, and you could jump into it. You can look into your own and you could figure out, Hey, maybe this might be a good or bad. 
So um, I'm going to jump into the one day for right now. We can kind of see how it's holding. Um, I guess more on the one hour, it looks a little bit better than this. Yeah. So on the one hour, this looks a lot better. Uh, you can see kind of what we're holding right here. Um, I have my stop loss set. Um, this is where I bought into the market as I saw that it, we were touching right here. And this represented a good buy opportunity for me um, as we were falling down. So um, I, I took a really good position. I'm really high up on it. Um, but over here, we can see um, I kind of set different positions. So this is my first sell position, which is going to be a 60% uh, return, or not 60% not return, uh, where I'm going to be selling 60% of my portfolio in ETC. And then this is going to be my second position where I'm looking to sell 100% of whatever's left. Um, so with that said, we got to check into risk reward, right? So over here, uh, the risk reward, as as far as the first position, um, we have a solid five. So that is our risk reward ratio. And then for the other one, it's a 6.28. Um, so for me, it's definitely worth the risk uh, because the reward is there and I think that we will get there. So uh, only time will tell though, um, having a stop loss set in place, having all this is necessary and it can be doable um, through the config pool, which we just went over and I've gone over in past videos, um, and setting BTC triggers so that you know when you want to get out, when you, you add that extra layer of protection, you know? Um, and this is really what I'm trying to gear you guys to is if you do not have triggers set up, just do yourself a favor, set up some base triggers, um, at least base triggers based off of the BTC USD value and a base trigger based off of, uh, you know, ETC USD. Either one of those is fine, but those are mandatory in my opinion, um, as far as an extra layer of protection, but I've already gone over DCAs and everything else and all the other layers that you can implement to protect yourself. So with that said, um, I hope that this video was helpful. Um, I hope that it will gear you to better prepare for the market and for what is going on. Um, and with that, at the end of the day, you are your own investor. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, you need to check out CryptoPotluck.net where we have a whole list of video resources, articles, a community tab where you can talk about how you're trading. Um, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the YouTube channel down below. Check out these videos. They're pretty well done. And through hard work and determination, you too can achieve your version of the American dream.